today I recreated the Anastasia Jackie Aina collaboration, the look that she did with the Wigglies. So I recreated this look using palettes that I already have. If you want to see how I created this look, please keep watching. So I did an Instagram poll this week to try to figure out what got looks you guys want me to do, um, whether it would just be a random look or if you guys want me to recreate the whole Jackie Aina, Anastasia, Beverly Hills look that she did. And this, the look is that red, um, like pinker eyeshadow, th no, Wigglies, that's the name of it. And so overwhelmingly, everybody said, uh, recreate the Jackie Aina look. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So, I mean, you guys already know, I'm very frugal, okay? So I wasn't gonna just run out and go buy a $45 palette, okay? Um, I really want to, I, I mean, I respect everything that Jackie is doing. I love Anastasia stuff, uh, okay? Uh, just so you guys know, so you guys cannot sit here and say stuff because I already own quite a few uh, Anastasia palettes. So I wanted to see if I can just use what I already have versus just going out and just, you know, keep buying new palettes. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the look, I guess, my take or me recreating the Jackie Aina ABH collab eyeshadow look, okay? So the very first thing that she did, of course, she primed her lid and she actually used a Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna prime my eyelids um, with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Mahogany. And I'm just gonna use a brush just to blend it all out, okay? And I actually already did my brows, as you can see, and I used the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade ebony okay so we'll just blend this out okay so she primed her lids and she didn't set it okay so i'm just gonna do exactly what she did so but i'm gonna actually i'm using my using my Riviera palette which i did a review on i don't know months ago um and now the first color that she used was called pinker and pinker is described as a cool uh plum medium color but i mean when you she puts it on her lids I don't know if it's just me, but it looks purple, okay? So I maybe it's just me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going into my Riviera palette and I'm just gonna jump right in and I'm gonna use this purple shade here called Cans and I'm gonna use this as my transition color, okay? So I'm just gonna get right in there. I'm using like a, a crease brush, okay? And I'm just gonna pack it right next to my crease area. I mean, my outer V area right in the crease here, okay? And you can see it's nice and like purple, okay? And we're gonna bring it all the way into the crease, okay? This is a transition color, okay? Just keep getting in there, building it up, and then just winging it out. Make sure you get all the way up into your brow bone, uh, into your brows, okay? I don't know if, you know, if this is comparable to what she has, um, but I feel like this works pretty well. You can just keep building it up if you need to, okay? So we'll just keep building this up until we get the intensity that we want, okay? Okay, so this is where we're at, okay? Um, so the next thing that she did, she went in and she put in Wigglies, and Wigglies is this reddish, it's like a red shimmery shade. I didn't really have, I thought about using um, this pinky color here, Palermo, from the Riviera palette, but I was just like, no, it's not really um, the best. So I actually have the Tardis Pro palette, okay? And the Tardis Pro has this shimmery shade right here, and it's called Graffiti. And I think it's like a fuchsia shade, okay? So kind of like a pinkish red if you will. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use that and I'm just gonna pack this on my lid. Okay, so I'm just gonna get right into graffiti with a flat brush, okay? And then we're just gonna pack it on our lids, okay? Just get right in there, okay? And I think that this is a pretty good match, okay?
Okay, so that's what that looks like. We'll do the other eye. That's what that looks like so far. And normally, you guys know, I don't really do anything quite so um, on myself, so bright, dramatic. Um, I don't know what to call it, uh, but I usually don't use uh, these kinds of colors on myself. Um, but well, the next thing that she did, she went ahead and to define her eyes a little bit, she did like a matte brown and she just basically placed it on the outer V or just on the outer edges and just blended it into her, her crease area a little bit. So we're gonna jump right back into the Rivera palette and there is this color here, it's like a brown, it's called Palm. And so we're gonna get right into Palm and we're gonna pack this on the outer V, okay? Okay, get right into Palm. And just pack it on and then bring it in into the crease just a little okay and we'll just keep doing that until it's all blended out and everything looks seamless okay okay the next thing that she did she had what she called was like the secret sauce or something <laughs> and so she used like a neon pink uh, <laughs> Uh, shadow and she just placed it like basically right uh, from the inner corner to the crease area to, to just this she kept it to the, the just the crease area just to kind of blend the two colors together I think to make things look a little bit more seamless so now I don't have a bright pink neon color but I'm gonna jump into my subculture palette okay and there is a color here it's called cube right here and I know it looks white on the palette but I'm just gonna get right in here let me get right here and do a swatch for you guys so that's what cube kind of looks like and maybe you can't really see it but it's kind of like a dual chrome color so it's kind of like has like a pinkish kind of shimmer to it so I'm just gonna get right in here and we are just gonna get into the inner corner and bring it into the crease area and that's what that looks like okay and actually I think we might have found uh, something new that actually looks really really good okay so yeah that's 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 what she did and so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna inner corner to the crease area here okay and I think it blends the two colors together very very well Okay. okay, so we are just gonna blend everything out. Just make sure everything is nice and seamless. Okay, and everything looks good. Now she didn't put um, like a wing eye or anything like that. She just did a little eyeliner. So we're just gonna get right in there with my MAC Black Track Eyeliner. And we're just, we're not gonna wing it out or anything. We're just gonna line our eyes and just give it a little bit of uh, definition, if you will, okay? So just gonna get right in here with a precision brush. Okay, and I'm kind of looking down into a mirror. Okay, so we'll just line the other eye. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put some mascara on. It's the Cargo Triple Action Mascara that I've been really, really loving lately. Okay, and I'm gonna put on some Ardell Wispies, okay? Okay, so we're just gonna pop these Wispies on, okay? You guys know how I do it. I just put it on the center of my eye, okay? And then I attach the inner corner first, and that's it, okay? All right, so we'll do the other eye. Okay, so this is where we're at. This is how we look so far, okay? Okay, so it's different than my usual looks, but I like it so far. Okay, so this is where we are at, that we have our highlights, contour, um, almost everything done. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of the lower uh, lids right now. She used a brown light, uh, eyeliner in her waterline. So we're gonna go ahead and line our waterline with a brown, which um, normally you guys know I always do a black. Um, and so I'll do that again. We may have to do 
the block just to get some definition. I mean, I mean, you can see a little bit for this, but I feel like for my complexion, it needs to be a little bit deeper. So I am gonna switch to my black. Uh, okay, so it's just lining our waterline and we are switching to black because the brown was just um, too close to our complexion. So it really wasn't giving us that, uh, making my eyes pop at all. And so I'm lining my eyes with a NARS black eyeliner, okay? And that's what that looks like so far. So we're just gonna smudge all the shades that, well, the kind of the purple shade and some brown along our lower lash line. And she really wanted to keep the eyes as the centerpiece of this whole look. So we'll go ahead and just keep it like that, just lightly along the lower lash line. We'll come back and we'll finish up. I'm just gonna put a, a little uh, lash primer on my lower lashes just to give it a little bit of volume and then we'll go ahead and put some mascara on that and then I'll go ahead and just highlight my inner corner um, with that uh, I don't know pink color that I use that neon ish kind of color I'll, sh I'll show it to you guys in a sec we'll let this dry okay so from the subculture palette I use this color here, um, which it looks white in the palette, but it has, it's like a pinkish kind of shimmer. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this and we are gonna highlight our inner corner. Okay. Just a little bit, do this lightly. And you can see it looks white, but it's, it's pink once it goes on. Okay, love that, that's really pretty. And okay, the next one. Okay, and then we gotta do our brow bone. Okay, get right up there. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna add some mascara, figure out the lip situation, and the look will be done. <laughs> Okay, so we are going with the uh, Elizabeth Arden lipstick that I have. It's called Intimately, and this is in the shade 8. This is the first time that I'm actually using it. That's what it looks like. It looks really strange because uh, it has this almost like mauve on the outside, and then the core of it, it's like white. Okay, so I just did some of that, and I, I love it because um, it kind of makes my lips look like I had some lip injections which I didn't, I didn't, I don't need it. Okay, so let's do our setting spray. And we'll come back and do the final look. Okay guys, so here we are, this is it. Our look is done, okay? This is our uh, recreation of the Jackie Aina Anastasia collaboration. I think we did a really, really good job of putting it together. I was really, really surprised by um, the subculture and this color here was really really unexpected and I really think that it just kind of pulled the whole look together but it just kind of goes to show you I mean we have all this stuff sitting around rather than just like keep adding to that stuff why don't we just kind of use what we have repurpose what we have if you will you guys know I'm a frugal girl so uh, for me I don't really think it's necessary to go out and buy this palette because I already have actually six Anastasia palettes and if you guys have been following me you know I have like I don't know like eight um, cargo and that's just two brands so I have a ton of palettes I don't really think we need to go out and and get a new palette but if you guys want to go ahead and do that to to have the convenience of having all of your shadows right there in one palette then then you go ahead and you go support your girl I support her too thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hop over to Instagram to see the final photos from this look for this look okay okay I love you guys thank you guys so much for watching please remember to like share and subscribe let me know what other looks you guys want me to do i love 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 your comments so please leave me a nice comment in the comment section until next time love you guys peace bye